Um, there are great characters in your book. One of them is Anthony Scaramucci. Um, and um, he was for only 10 days, he was the communications director in the White House. Now we spoke to him as well. And he uses strong language in the interview. I was just wondering, should we uh, show you the edited version or the uncensored version? Well, I think we'd have to see. It's Anthony Scaramucci. Um, go for it. I call the book Liar and Furious. Okay, so Liar is the ball guy, Michael Wolf. He's like a total liar. And Furious is Steve Bannon. I'm not Steve Bannon. No. I'm not trying to suck my own. <laughs> I'm not trying to build my own brand off and shrink the president. What I said about Steve Bannon holds true. All he cares about is his own personal brand and that he would diverge and break from the president. He would diverge and break from anybody if it didn't fit his personal needs or personal interests. And so the whole book is this whole nonsense around the narrative that he's the guru and that the president was his hand puppet. It's a bunch of nonsense. What was left out of Liar and Furious is that he was trying to suggest that I was like a hanger on at Trump Tower. I mean, he forgot the fact that I was named to the president's executive transition team on the Friday after the election. So the notion that I'm like sitting around waiting for a job and that I left the campaign after the Access Hollywood thing is a sign of how dishonest he is and how he doesn't check his sources. What Michael Wolff doesn't report in the book is that he campaigned tirelessly right up until the last moment. He flew from uh, Pennsylvania to Michigan, uh, maybe 20 hours left in the election or something like that. So to say that he didn't want to win is ridiculous. I mean, that's a, yeah, that's a, that's a cornerstone falsehood in the novel, I mean, the fictional novel that he's writing, okay? At the end of the day, Donald Trump wanted to win the presidency. I was there. Michael, congratulations on a best-selling book. You made yourself a lot of money, uh, but you furthered the dilapidation of your reputation as a complete dishonest loser. But since you got the money in your bank account, I guess that's part of the American capitalist system, so, so God bless you there. But I know you're a loser, and I know you have a hard time sleeping at night being a loser. Anthony Scaramucci. Anthony Scaramucci. I rest my case. <laughs> Why is he so angry, you think? Well, I don't think he's angry. I think he's just a guy trying to get a little attention. He's Anthony Scaramucci. He's, uh, you know, um, 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 you know, he's, uh, I, you know, I suppose that he still dreams that he will be called back to the White House by Donald Trump when, it is true, when no one will work in the White House, there will be Anthony Scaramucci. I think it's quite possible. <laughs> there is a slight possibility, yes, you're yes. saying.